the question I was asked is, can I hide my locations and the number of employees I have on my LinkedIn company page? I'm going to show you what you can do in this video, but before I do, hit that subscribe and that notify button because I create all of this content for you. So you can see I'm logged into Burris Consulting and I'm, at, I'm, up, I'm acting as a super admin. If I want to switch back to be a member, you click on that button. Now under here, I can uh, look at uh, edit page. And once at the edit button, this is where I can edit all the content that's associated with my page. And first of all, look at locations. So here's where you add locations. And if you don't want your location displayed, I recommend you don't add it because I have not found, this is a bugaboo I just discovered, I have not found how to remove this. This is just going to let me edit location. It's going to let me edit this location. It's not going to let me delete it. There's no delete option here, at least none that I can find. So if I go back, and then if I, come, if I go look at the page, and I scroll down to, where is it? Where's my locations? It doesn't show up here. I got to go view it as a member. I, only, I can't even see it as an admin. I got to view as a member. And then you can see right here, if I scroll down in the about section, you can see there's my location. And again, there's no way for me to remove it once I've added it. So let's go back and go back to being an admin and let's talk about the other issue. The other issue is that the question was, is there a way to hide the number of employees? I don't think there is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Go back to edit page. I can look, go look at uh, workplace and oh, excuse me, overview. And under overview, I can define the company size. Now you've got to define something. You've got to pick something. It's got an asterisk beside it, which means you've got to pick something. So you better pick the thing that is the most uh, appropriate for what you want to be able to tell people on LinkedIn. So I got two to 10 employees, so I picked that. So you have to show something there. Now, here's the next problem that this person brought up. So when you go look at this company page, then you can also see the employees listed. Now, I do not have four employees. So I got, you know, somebody, um, this person's a squatter, here's another squatter, and here's my boss, and here's myself. So I have two people on here who are squatters. Now, I can get rid of the squatters, there are tools to do that, but if you create a company page, a LinkedIn company page, your employees have the ability to connect that page to their experience section, and then this number will grow the more people in your company who connect to your company page. Now, by the way, if you have a showcase page, showcase pages do not have employees. So you could use a showcase page and not display the number of employees. However, you have to have a company page in order to create a showcase page. So point of, point of interest there. Now, so to answer the question, uh, you, you've got to pick a number of employees that you show in your about section. You've got to pick something. Um, if you have a page, people, your employees can tag themselves to the page. And the context of locations, there is, once you add a location, there's no way to remove that. You're going to have to contact LinkedIn uh, to remove that location if you don't want a location assigned to your company page. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope that's useful for you.